Should you learn SQL in 2024? Well, you reached the right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure salary you desire. Our 30 day project course includes our JavaScript front end projects, our Python back end projects, our SQL database projects, and much, much more. So go ahead and click the link below to our free seven step guide so that you can start reaching your programming goals today. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. Um, a lot of you guys got questions about SQL. You're still trying to figure out that SQL. We're going to answer that later on in the video. But just to get straight to the point, should you learn SQL Server 20, uh, in 2024? The answer to that question is yes, guys. Data is the core of any business. SQL Server, SQL, whatever type of database language manages that data. Put it in tables, and it's the central essential part of any business. And anybody who know how to leverage that data, access, modify, create it is going to be in a great position to provide value to that company. That being said, if you're a SQL developer trying to learn SQL, trying to really stand out from the competition, this is going to be your competitive advantage, guys. And this is going to be your way to actually get into um, being a developer, especially you aspiring developers with no experience, can't get a job can't really get an opportunity sql is that perfect way and i'm gonna give you some reasons why specifically but before we get into those reasons guys i'm trying to make some notes here so i can make sure i cover everything but comment below in the comment section on what your experience being so far as sql have you tried it do you know about it is this your first time actually even um seeing somebody talk about sql put those comments in the um uh, in the um, comment section let's start a conversation i'm really trying to be engaged with you guys to kind of figure out your perspective so that i can make sure i know what's going on on the ground floor and provide you guys with up-to-date unique situations so that you can get ahead of the competition so that being said let's talk about sql a little bit more in detail a lot of you guys are fight Python developers, front end, back end developers. You really haven't heard about SQL. Um, you're just trying to figure out, hey, I'm just trying to get an opportunity. Give me an opportunity to get in, Rod. How can I get an opportunity? As you guys already know, front end development with Java, with PH, uh, with Java, any of the HTML stuff, highly, highly competitive um, industry or um, job opportunity to get into. A lot of people want those opportunities. Same with the back end with Python, C, C, all that stuff like that. Highly, highly competitive to get in. SQL, on the other hand, relative to the other two we were just talking about, you can jump into that with relatively not a lot of competition because nobody's really branding themselves as a SQL developer and you can learn SQL, get actually compete against less people for more job opportunities because not like other technology companies where you're working with the latest and greatest cutting edge technology with sql every company has that every company got data you got reporting you got performance related stuff you got new um um uh, programming like or uh, I, I said programming language like you new store procedures that you can use so that you can provide value and present data in unique ways and that's just scratching the surface guys i can't cover everything in this video that's why i have links to my seven step guide below so go ahead and check that out it's going to give you an introduction to sql what you need to do to get started and create that roadmap for you so go ahead and do that and if you guys already uh checked out my seven step guide go ahead and check out my 30 day developer course it really going to give you a deep dive and, and put you into the position to be a sql developer that being said guys at the end of the day we need you to get started we need you to start to go and learn sql contrary to popular belief it's actually going to be pretty easy compared to the other ones because sql have maybe um five to ten statements that you're going to use and everything else is just experience after that versus other programming languages that got ton of frameworks and and new uh libraries all this stuff you got to learn sql is actually relatively easy and personally that's what i started from guys as you can guys can tell i'm not the super technical savvy person and i was able to take sql server and create a career that most people would 
dream of having because of the level of access, uh, access to technology. I get to work with a lot of different things and it all started with that understanding of SQL, the data, the business process, and then it just ballooned to where I am today. And you guys can have that same opportunity if you guys just get started and um, really present yourself in front of the right people. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be easier to learn because you just you you got a very subset of um, SQL statements that you're working with, and it, everything revolves around the data. Secondly, the competition is not as fierce as the other two. You're gonna get more opportunities to be a SQL developer than any other other three, especially if you're not in a, a Silicon Valley or New York or a really big market with technology. You're definitely gonna have see a noticeable difference in SQL job versus the other two. Not that they're not there, it's just that you just gonna, more, more companies have databases and need more, need to leverage their data more than just a Facebook or a, a, a Google or an Apple who just working on this cutting edge IT robotics and things like that. Not that you're not gonna get into that. Let, let, me, let me make sure I clarify. You will get into those technologies at some point in your career. You just trying to get your foot in the door especially for your aspiring developers who can't even get a job or can't get started or anything like that, or from your struggling um, IT profession who want to get into development, but maybe you start off in support and they just kind of brand you as support person and you cannot get any opportunities. SQL is gonna be that opportunity where you can really shine and hit the ground running quickly and get ahead of the competition, guys. So at the end of the day, guys, it's all about really position, positioning yourself for success, making that first step to get started. Getting started is the hardest part. Once you get in the game, guys, once you get your opportunity as a developer, the sky's the limit. I can't tell you how many opportunities I didn't have with all the learning I did until I got that first opportunity and it just go from there. SQL will give you guys that opportunity to get you guys started, put you in position to win and get ahead of the competition. If you haven't already, guys, go ahead and check out the stuff in the description or, or links in the description. Got a lot of goodies there, seven step guide, all that good stuff like that. Um, I can really go into detail here. I just can't do that on this video. And I really want you guys to get started. I want to be able to have a community of people who just um, went from not having any experience with technology to be able to say, yes, when I saw that video ride, it gave me the motivation to get started. I went through his courses and his seven step guide. Now I got that job and do a good testimonial video and all that good stuff, guys. So make my dreams possible. Let's get started to that first job. And then we're going to see you grow to success like you want to. And um, everything's going to be good. So um, like I was saying before, guys, links in the description box for all the goodies. I'm going to see if I can put something here on the screen here um, so that you can click and go straight to the seven step guide. Like, subscribe to the content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.